Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and welcome to Exploration Theme Parks and today I'm at Six Flags Magic Mountain to check out the updates on the Golden Bear Theater and possible new roller coaster and also there's rumblings around the Red Tower. Let's see if we can get on any rides, so let's get to it. All right, so we just parked at Six Flags Magic Mountain. It's 2 p.m. I think the park's open until 8. I'm over here at the end of the parking lot. I'm gonna check out like the solar project. It doesn't look like much, but they got some parts laid out. They got green going on over there. But, so here's the part of the parking lot. They got closed off. Over in the distance, that's that was like the dirt parking lot overflow. Got some like steel and posts laid out. Not much going on. I'm really hoping they repave these these lots. I think that would be a huge mistake if they did the whole solar project and didn't repave this lot. I mean, these are like mild cracks compared to other parts of the parking lot. But yeah, so. I honestly don't know how crowded it's going to be. It's Saturday afternoon in January. It might look like the lot's full, but that's because, you know, they have a huge chunk cut off or shut off. So I don't know what these are, if those are like panels or no, it just looks like steel plates. Yeah, like brackets. And then they got all these boxes over here. Recom. Don't know what that is. I'll try to look it up and see if I can figure it out. But yeah, this is a great project as long as they repave the parking lot. Because if they don't, that's a huge miss, a huge mistake. But it'll power the park, power some homes even that they're saying. It's gonna be all covered and shaded, so it'll be awesome. Yeah, so I looked online and it looks like Recom might be the solar company that they're working with so i don't know what's in the boxes but it's exciting to see uh again i just hope they repave it and overall that solar project is going to be a huge benefit for the park and the community and like always the 20 mile trek from the parking lot to the front of the park let's go and here's the old ticket boost that they removed at the front entrance that are still sitting here over by Twisted Colossus. Honestly, like the one ride I would really want to go on today is X2 because I haven't been on it in a while. Didn't see it running as I was coming into the park, so, or, or like driving up. So I don't know if it's going to be open or not, but we'll see. Oh my gosh. X2 is up on the lift going up. I think it's open. So yeah, the, the updated front entrance still has like those temporary bush walls up. They still got these Christmas trees out front. I think it's about time to take them down. park again I think I'm gonna go straight to X2 right now and then probably come back down this way and go the opposite way this time because the last few times I've just gone all the way to the left and done the loop so let's keep it interesting and switch it up so the app says 45 minute wait for X2 then you got the billboard wait times and I'm guessing Tatsu is still running on one train. It says it has an hour wait. And I wouldn't be surprised if X2 is running on one, one, maybe two trains, we'll see. X2 is this way, let's go. Over the bridge. And I can hear Viper and the arrow lift hill. 
All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and get in line. X2, two, two, two. Yeah, the line isn't long at all. So it makes me think that they might be running one train. I can see that being the case because that would definitely make the line, you know, the wait longer. But yeah, it's not that long of a line at all. All right, no wait for X. This is awesome. Let's go. And it was too good to be true. There's two trains, no line, and it just broke down. Typical Six Flags fashion. All right, it was only down for like 10 minutes. Ran one test ride and it's open now. All right, just got off X2. It's essentially like a walk-on. I waited for the front row. It just broke down for like 10 minutes. Two trains, so that's good. But man, it was bumpy today. Like my last two rides that I've had on it were like really, really surprisingly smooth and like epic rides. I don't know if it's, I can't remember if I've ridden the front recently. I don't know if it's because I rode in the front, but yeah, it was pretty jolty and threw my legs around and yeah it was it was pretty pretty bumpy today which was kind of surprising because my last two rides were like epic but anyways barely had to wait only had to wait because it broke down so if that's a telling sign of the crowd today at the park then it's not going to be crowded so let's go The greatest coasters ever built. Oh yeah. Oh, it looks like they're doing some work on one of these. Like reconstructing it, it looks like. Huh. I wonder if it was like falling apart. But anyways, I'm gonna go back to the front of the park and walk that way and uh, take a look at Golden Bear Theater. Uh, there's some rumors going around, so let's go talk about it. So yeah, again, I, I always say it, but I really love the front of Six Flags Magna Mountain, like as you walk in. You know, you got, got a few shops and food stalls over here, the music playing, and then this iconic fountain display, Revolution, the Red Tower, and we'll talk about that later in Tatsu. Epic. So this uh, basketball game right here looks uh, new to me. I don't remember ever seeing that there. It's just called basketball and then we got full throttle over here massive loop then you go over it really love full throttle just wish it went a little longer after you drop off the loop right there I was like, oh, I don't have cash. Okay, then look. <laughs> it just ends boom so full throttle is kind of like a slow moving cue line it's not as long as normal but it looks like at least like 30, 35 minutes. Oh, oh, almost forgot. Rest in peace, log jammer. Forever missed, never forgotten. And here she is. The Golden Bear Theater. If you've uh, heard of the rumors lately, supposedly it's gonna be walled off soon and demo supposed to start begin soon so we shall see so yeah for those of you not familiar with the rumors is that this theater 
which really has only been used for like cheerleading competitions. And I was actually here the, recently when they had their last cheer competition. And I was over in um, Twisted Territory by um, Twisted Colossus. And they were having the competition over at that theater. And I was like, huh, that's weird. Usually they have it at the Golden Bear Theater. And so this was like the first year they didn't have it over here. And the rumor is that it's going to be demoed, taken down, and supposedly replaced with some type of roller coaster. Now that's not confirmed and we have no idea what they would put in. Obviously there's always been the Giga rumor. I'm not too sure if that would work here. I mean, I'm sure they could, it could work, but it would be uh, very, 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 very pricey, especially if they went with like the B&M gig and wanted to hit up records. And that's really not what Six Flags has gone after recently, um, you know, due to budget restrictions. I personally think a good idea might be to put in some sort of, you know, family launch coaster that kind of just traverses like the hillside and all that stuff kind of like Big Bear Mountain, but actually be like hidden in the trees and on the hillside. I actually think that would be a great addition for the park. Obviously, I want that record-breaking Giga, but you know, if I was any constellation, you know, a family launch coaster or a Blitz, intimate Blitz coaster like Maverick, but one can dream, one can dream. So I'm not too sure if this is gonna be my last time standing in front of it. If so, peace out, Golden Bear Theater. We will miss you. Oh, we can get on some junior coasters. Not, you have to be, uh, I think with a child. I have ridden these a long time ago, but Get some hot rod, hot rod racer action over here. Just uh, drop a doom drop. Trying to figure out what rides I want to go on today. I really don't know how crowded it is. X2 wasn't crowded at all. Do I want to go on Goliath? Um, let's do it. It's been a while. Let's go get grayed out on uh, the ending helix. And the line's only in the station. Let's go. just got off of Goliath it was like no way they had two trains I mean the drop the first drop just doesn't really do anything for me and then the first turnaround is just like a waste of speed there's like no airtime there the one airtime hill it does have I got pretty decent floater on it and then helix a little gray out nothing like what it used to be before they like completely stop you on the mid course break run but it had been a while and there was absolutely no wait, so let's go. I think I'm gonna go and drop a doom. I absolutely love it. And it's been closed like the last couple of times I've come, so it is open today. So let's go get it in line. All right, let's go uh, check out the line, drop a doom. I only waited like nine minutes to be exact for Drop of Doom. 
I love Drop of Doom. Such a good like free fall drop ride. So high up on top of Superman. And I also got a glimpse of like the finished uh, solar lot for the par uh, employee parking. It looks super clean. And then like one of the far lots in the main parking lot actually looks like it was repaved in new paint. So it's looking promising for that project. And <laughs> I think it's time to start taking some of these decorations down Six Flags. So it's only 3.35, I've already gone on three rides. And you know, I've done a lot of walking around and stuff. So it's actually like not crowded at all. Of course, I have to come over to Twisted Colossus to see what the weight is on that. I actually might try to go on screen today. Um, I went on it like three times ago, so it's been a while for that one as well. So, let's check them out. However, Twisted Colossus's sign could use some love. It's super faded. And when it was like new, it actually was like a pretty epic sign. Uh, looks like Twisted has a little weight. I'm gonna go on screen because even though it looks short, that line has been extremely long due to like how they're doing like the fast pass. And it turns like a 20 minute, in line, 20 minute line into like over an hour. I'm not sure if that's how it's operating today, but if that's how long is it's gonna be, I'm probably gonna skip Twisted today. But let's go check out Scream while we're here. I just got off of Scream. It was about like a 13 minute wait just because there's running one train. Definitely bumpier than my last ride. Um, but really there's only like, on that ride, one transition that really you know got my ear was the on the Cobra roll. Um, other than that, not too bad. But really, it's not crowded today. But probably will skip Twisted Colossus, but I'll, I'll take another gander, we'll see. Yeah, the line's still out over there. Probably gonna skip it, because again, I, I mean, I just don't trust where the line is because of the, how they're running that fast pass. They hold up the regular queue for like, ever. And there's literally like almost open trains like while you're waiting and you're just like, why aren't you letting people go? But like, I've gone in line when it was like that long and it turned out to be like an hour and 20 minutes, so. Or like an hour. So yeah, skipping Twisted today, unfortunately. Now I've made my way over to DC Universe. Got Wonder Woman right here. And Wonder Woman right there. <laughs> but yeah, they still got like all their Christmas decorations up. I don't know when they actually ended Holiday in the Parks, but, or when they plan on taking the decorations down. I'm gonna take a look at Wonder Woman's line. I always like to peek at Twisted Colossus and Wonder Woman. Again, it's not too crowded today, but you know, I just wanted to walk around, see some updates, talk about some rumors. And I've gone on four rides already, so that's, I'm really happy with that. But yeah, they gotta do something with this wall. I mean, originally they were gonna put in like a restaurant and new bathrooms. That never panned out, so we'll see. So yeah, I think I'm gonna skip Wonder Woman, the line's out the door. 
which is surprising. I mean, all the other lines have not been bad at all. But I mean, this is the newer one, so here she goes. So I think I'm gonna skip Batman as well because I actually wanna to try to get on Riddler's Revenge. It's still open and it has been a long time since I've been on it. So let's go solve a riddle. I mean, so far everything looks to be open, except I don't think Samurai Summit's still open. Obviously I haven't seen Superman go, but we'll obviously talk about it when we get over there. But. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, obviously I'm not going on and everything, but as long as everything's open, that's awesome. Good old crazy entity. Great flat ride right here. Super fast, super forceful, gets a nice floater airtime. It's got a decent line right now. And here's that uh, new Zen garden I talked about in the last video. Kind of random, but Jamming bumpers are open. So I decided to skip on Riddlers again because I got in line and it's running one train, but that wasn't the biggest issue. The issue, biggest issue is how slow they were sending that train out. The line didn't look too bad, but by the rate they were sending that train out, I think it would have been like an hour and a half wait for me. And I'm just not gonna wait that today. But next time, next time I'll get on Riddlers again. Yeah, it's coming to golden hour here at Six Flags Magic Mountain today. A very beautiful day. And back here, the park vibes are actually really cool. Um, again, I love golden hour. It's like the prettiest part of the day here at the parks. But everything appears to be open except Samurai Summit still. And that's been closed for a while. So that leads to other rumors and I'll talk about it more when I get a view of it but Superman been, has been down obviously we don't know if they're doing anything to it and then also Ninja has been down for a while I mean all of Samurai Summit's been closed but I don't quite know if they're working on refurbishing those two rides just to to like budget they close that area of the park so they don't have to have the employees up there. And there's Ninja right there. But an even bigger rumor is the Red Tower has been closed for, I think since like 2014 or 15. And that's due to like their elevators were not up to code. And it would have been like a multi-million dollar project to like refurbish it, bring it up to code. But there's been rumor, rumors swirling around that they're looking into it, possibly moving forward with it to get it back open. I would absolutely love them to do that. This Red Tower is an absolute icon of the park. You know, as you're coming up the freeway on the 5 freeway, you see it in the distance. It gives amazing views of the park and the surrounding Santa Clarita Valley. So I've always, I keep saying it, like I, I really wish and hope they do reopen it. I don't want them to just, you know, leave it standing and not operating. So I hope those rumors are true. But again, I, there's been other like far-fetched rumors. I don't know if far-fetched, I shouldn't say that, but is that possibly ninjas coming to the end you know of its life like it's you know a family coaster not that many people like ride it uh it you know these aero suspended coasters are very expensive to upkeep nowadays so i don't know that's something to think about and keep an eye on and even same with superman i mean Superman, you know, 
what well, it was built by and built and manufactured by Intamin and it was a, a proto prototype model and that's super expensive to keep going as well and you know I don't think they have you know as many riders as other coasters in the park so it'll be interesting to see what's going on with Samurai Summit because again the whole area has been closed and there's all kinds of rumors swirling around so time will tell and now we're coming around the corner to the underground where West Coast Racers is gonna skip West Coast Racers today I wrote it last time Here's their VIP uh, VIP lounge, which I think at first it was like free for like diamond members or something. And then I've heard that like now it costs $10 for everyone. I really don't know. I really don't care. Oh. There goes West Coast. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't use that really anyways because I don't know, I just wouldn't. I I, I keep keep on keeping on at the parks you know I, I keep going unless I have to stop for eat to eat or something but yeah now we're in uh, the underground got some food places they got the upcharge go-karts over here West Coast racers I do like the building I like the cars out front I like the sign just get rid of the comfort colors gonna pass on apocalypse I'm guessing it's a one train op right now and it's hard to tell how long the line is because there's a long outdoor queue you have to walk through till you get to the indoor queue, which is just pretty long too. So. so yeah, it's just very hard to tell how long Apocalypse is gonna be, but I'm gonna keep making the full loop around the park. Yeah, it's crazy how like, long tattoo supports are right here because you know it's up on the hillside right here so these all these supports right here are pretty massive tattoo's got a decent weight of course all the water rides are closed right now since it's winter time and colder out but again, it's it's really good to see most of the rides open. I mean, with the exception of Samurai Summit, but that's been closed. They're doing something up there, but everything else seems to be open. It feels like in the last five minutes, the temperature just dropped. It's been really cold uh, in Santa Clarita at night recently, like freezing temperatures. <music> So that's going to do it for my day at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Had a blast. Maybe I've said goodbye to the Golden Bear Theater for my last time. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, talked about the Red Tower. Even got on some rides. It wasn't too crowded today, but there were some one train ops. But still had a great day. So please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos. And remember, never stop exploring theme parks.